you know, the strength of a party is if you have a really good bench. And you're always looking for that next generation of leadership. And tonight, our next speaker is one of those rising stars of our party. Now, he has, he has a familiar last name. Some of y'all will recognize the name Bush. But I'll tell you one thing that really impressed me about this young man. From the very beginning, the first time I met him till today, he's always said, I want to stand on my accomplishments, not on my name. And I want to run on my record as a naval officer serving our country, putting himself in harm's way to have right. Give him a round of applause for being a veteran of the United States of America. And of a successful entrepreneur, which is one of the whole reasons our Republican Party exists, to give people a, a chance if they work hard that they can succeed. But above all, he's gone around the state, campaigned hard on the conservative principles that this party represents. So I bring before you now one of our new stars on the stage, our new land commissioner-elect, George P. Bush. Thank you all very much. What a great night. What a great victory for the GOP and for the state of Texas. I first want to thank the Lord Almighty for his providence during this campaign in the last two years. I want to thank my entire family, starting with my grandparents who couldn't join us tonight, my parents who are here tonight, my beautiful wife, Mandy, who's been an incredible partner during this journey, and an incredible mother to our little boy, Prescott. I want to thank my entire campaign team for their tireless work for the last two years. I will never forget your efforts, and I will never forget the efforts of all of the grassroots volunteers across the great state of Texas that helped to get out the vote in the last days and weeks leading up to Election Day. I thank the people of Texas tonight for entrusting me with the role of managing and guiding the General Land Office for the next four years. And I've got a special message to some of you that might not have voted for me on election day. Even though I didn't win your vote, in the next four years, I want to win your trust. And for those of you that did vote for me, I value each and every one of your votes, but I'm going to vote your values each and every day of the week as your land commissioner. That starts by valuing our school children, by improving our public schools here in Texas so that they have the opportunities of tomorrow. That means valuing our job creators, our entrepreneurs, who are creating the opportunities of tomorrow as we speak. And that means valuing those who have worn the uniform and served in the highest role possible. And that's our nation's military veterans as they transition from the battlefield to our places of work. But as we do so, let's subscribe to a simple philosophy that guided our campaign from day one. Let's work to build consensus. Let's seek to join hands rather than point fingers. And let's look to build a better tomorrow for our children and our, our grandchildren. As I campaigned around the state these last two years, I had a wonderful opportunity to visit over 180 counties, meeting Texans of all backgrounds and all walks of life. And the rest of the world is seeing tonight a direct and loud, clear message that I heard every single day on the trail. The people of Texas don't want a government so large that it gives us everything we want. Because in the end, that's a government that could take everything we have. Thank you. No matter where I was, from Lubbock to Laredo, from McAllen to the Metroplex, I met with so many young first-time voters, with Hispanics, with small business owners, with working-class folks that were rallying around a conservative message of growth and opportunity. But this is the future of our state. It's a conservative future, and it is here now. And so the people of Texas have rallied around a common set of beliefs. We believe in freedom, we believe in family, and we believe in faith. You know, at the beginning of this campaign, they said that we couldn't run a grassroots effort in Hispanic communities in the Rio Grande Valley. 
we have. At the beginning of this campaign, they said we couldn't assemble a new coalition of conservative voters. We are. And they said that we couldn't beat Battleground Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, we just did. Vivimos en el mejor estado de la Unión Americana, Texas. Y todos los días voy a luchar cada día por su familia, por su empleo, por su futuro, por el futuro de este estado. Yes, the Texas of today is great, but together we can build the Texas of tomorrow and make it even greater. God bless each and every one of you. God bless Texas. Que Dios los bendiga a usted y a este gran estado de Texas.